the next point. We should ensure that whatever we see is clear. That means work is being done and we can see that it is in opposite direction. Good day, learners. My name is Nuhu Bako Fus. You are welcome to government class. And today, by God's grace, we shall be discussing the Nigerian Civil War. That is our topic for today, Nigerian Civil War. The Nigerian Civil War started on July 6, 1967. The war was known as the Nigerian Biafran War. It commenced seven years after Nigeria gained independence from Britain. And it began with the cessation of the southeastern region of the nation on May 30th, 1967. When Lieutenant Colonel Odumegu Ojuku declared Independent Republic of Biafra. Before the declaration, Nigeria was geographically divided into three, into three regions, the northern, the western, and the eastern regions. The war formally ended on January 15, 1970, when the Biafra's chief of general staff, Major General Philip Ifyong, signed Biafra's formal surrender which took place at Dodan Barracks, Lagos. Millions of lives, properties were lost and destroyed, and many people deformed. Now, the Nigerian Civil War that commenced in 1970, I mean 1967, was a civil war. And when we say civil war, what do we mean? Civil war means war that was fought by citizen of a country. So it was a war within a country. Either people with government or government with a particular settlement of people in the same country. So civil war has to do with, it has a connection between the people and the government. So Nigerian civil war was an internal war that was fought in Nigeria way back 1960. And as we had in the introduction, it was Chief Ojumegu Oduku, Lieutenant Colonel Ojumegu Ojuku, that started or initiated the issue of the Nigerian civil war. And almost everything was on ground. They were fully prepared with their army, their currency and their own flag, ready to secede from Nigeria. And what is secession? Secession simply means, you know, to break away from a country and form another country in the same country. So, Lieutenant Colonel Odumegu Ojuku intended to secede and have a country on its own here in Nigeria, known as Biafara. And the then military governor, General Yakubu Gawan, refused and he insisted and stood on his feet. And before you know it, it resulted to a civil war, exchange of fire. And the war was so terrible because good three years, there was exchange of fire. And many people lost their life, millions, and also Properties and houses belonging to the government and individuals were destroyed. Many people lost their life. According to history, most lives that were lost during the Nigerian Civil War wasn't as a result of gunshot or bombed, dropped in a particular place. No. But most lives that were lost during the Nigerian Civil War was as a result of hunger, no food. It was so terrible to an extent there was no food. Because, as mentioned earlier, a lot of things were destroyed. So bridges linking the north to the southeast, most bridges, most roads were destroyed. 
So there is no way food can be conveyed to the southeast. So there was no food, and that weakened them biologically. They cannot move, no strength, nothing. So most of them die in their various homes as a result of hunger, lack of food. So millions that died during the Nigerian Civil War was as a result of food, no food, and scarcity of everything. You cannot buy, you cannot sell. Because good three years, the war took place. Now, General Yakub Gawan after the war, it will interest you learners to know that immediately after the war, General Yakub Gawan embarked on what was known as the three R's. Reconciliation, rehabilitation, and reproduction. Reconciliation, rehabilitation, and reconstruction. Reconstruction. He reconstructed Nigeria, he rehabilitated Nigeria, and he reconciliated. And according to history also, from then, since then till death, no governor, no president, no an individual in Nigeria can estimate what General Yakub Gawan spent in order to reconstruct Nigeria. It was a huge amount of money that was spent to reconstruct Nigeria again. Now, the battle was a serious war, and it was two army officers that fought the war. In the course of our discussion, you will hear some of the reasons that led to the Nigerian Civil War. So in a nutshell, that is the brief history or introduction of Nigerian Civil War. Now we shall move to the in remote causes of the Nigerian Civil War. Remote causes of Nigerian Civil War. One, alleged rigging of the Western election of 1965. The crisis was so serious that it led to the breakdown of law and order, which prepared the ground for the army to take over, and this contributed to the Civil War. Now, this particular point is self-explained. There was another election, you know, in 1965 between the Nigerian National Democratic Party and the United Progressive Grand Alliance Party, that is the NNDP and the UPGE parties. Now, there was a serious clash because after the election, NNDP accused the UPGE of rigging the election. Likewise, UPGA, that is OBGA, accused NNDP for rigging the election. So both factions did not agree with the outcome or the result of the, 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 the election. They end up arguing, quarreling, and before you know it, it resulted to a serious crisis in Nigeria. A lot of people were killed. Houses and human beings were set ablaze, burned down. A lot of properties belonging to the government at the same time and individuals were destroyed. The country was at the crossroad and the government couldn't help the, 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 the country and has nothing to do. And it was so serious to the extent that it led to coup in Nigeria and subsequently to Nigerian civil law. So this is number one main remote causes of Nigerian civil war. Secondly, the fear of one tribe dominating the others, resulting from the January 15, 1966, first military coup in Nigeria, also contributed to the civil war. Now, the fear of one tribe dominating the others is another major remote cause of Nigerian civil war. Why? With reference to 1966 coup in Nigeria, most officers that staged the coup were all evils. And in a previous lesson, I mentioned it. This war, I mean, the coup was stuck as the evils coup. Why? Because all the people that staged the war were evils. Well, they staged the coup were evils. And at the same time, people that lost their life during the coup, none 
Ibo was killed. So Abu Bakr Tafabala was killed. Amadu Bello of Sokoto was killed. That is Sadona of Sokoto was killed. And Chief S.L. Akintola too was killed. And the Minister of Finance also was killed. All Igbos were saved. None was killed. And the counter coup again in the same year was waged by the northerners. Why? Because one tribe is afraid of being dominated by the other. So they both strive to see that they take over power and rule because of fear of domination. The northerners felt the Igbos will oppress and suppress them. They will dominate them. The same thing, the, the southern people felt if they allow the northerners, they will equally dominate them and oppress them. So this is one of the major reasons that led to Nigerian civil war and is part of the immediate, I mean, remote causes of Nigerian civil war. Now, the abolition of federation in place of unitary system of government by General JTU Agui Ronson. The abolition contained in decree number 34 of 1966 was viewed in the same section of the country as a step of concentrating power in the hands of a particular tribe. Now, what is a unitary system of government? Nigeria was operating federalism system of government. When JTU Agui Irasin manned the seat as the head of state, he now abolished the federalism system of government and introduce a unitary system of government. And unitary system of government is a system of administration where few individuals rule. The head of state and very few individuals rule. That is unitary system of government. Powers are not shared to the subordinate unit of the government under unitary system of government. So only the president and his cabinet members or his few advisors that rule and govern. They have no regard for any other subordinate government. So, you know, other section of the country felt if General Ogui Uransin should allow to continue, there's going to be a problem because only the evils, few individuals will rule. And that answers, you know, or explain the second, or the last point I just explained, the fear of one tribe dominating the other. So, that shows that with the introduction of unitary system of government, it is only few evils that will rule Nigeria. So this is another remote causes of Nigerian civil war. Now, the refusal of General Ironsin to bring the January 15, 1966 coup protest to book played a part in causing the civil war. Now, General Ironsin refused to bring to book the January 15, 1966 coup plotters. And according to the military tradition, any coup plotter is supposed to be brought to book. He's supposed to court martial them, try them, and if found guilty, they are supposed to face the consequence. They waged the coup, they succeeded, and he did not do anything to the coup plotters. He allowed them to live and continue their normal activities. That also, you know, trigger or stimulated, you know, the other section of the country against General Ugui Ironsin. And it is also one of the main reasons that led to the counter coup in, the, in July 1966 because he refused to court martial the coup plotters. And in most cases in army, traditionally, most Coup plotters, they hardly, they hardly escaped death because in most cases, they, they killed them. So people felt what General Agui Ironson did was not right to them. And he did not follow what it is expected for him, for him to do as a military officer. Because that is the normal tradition in military. The coup plotters are not speared. Another remote causes of Nigerian civil war is... The factor that contributed immensely to the civil war was the overambition of some army officials to catapult themselves to power. I take it again. Another factor that contributed immensely 
to the civil war was the overambition of some army officers to catapult themselves to power. There was serious competition because most of them felt power is good. So most people strive hard, or the military officers strive hard, work hard to see that they are being, or they were being promoted. So they promoted themselves anyhow, no merit, just anyhow. People that are not supposed to be promoted, they were promoted. They were just promoting themselves. The same ethnic group promoting themselves and catapulting themselves to, their, to higher ranks. That also serves as another reason for the remote causes of Nigerian civil war. Most officers just want to become generals, brigadier generals, and the like. The infusion of ethnicity into Nigerian army by the politicians. The politicians politicize the army by making sure that those from their ethnic group we are promoted. Infusion of ethnicity into the Nigerian army. That is one tribe, one tribe we are employed into the Nigerian army. And at the same time, one tribe dominating you know, the system of government or the government then in Nigeria. So the infusion is that only one tribe are found in government and they, are, they have dominated the government offices. And at the same time, you know, promotion and employment in army was not done based on merit as mentioned earlier. It was just done on their selfish and their personal interests. So that also led to Nigerian civil war. Now the massacre of the Igbos in the northern Nigeria was one of the immediate major that uh, immediate major contributing factors to the civil war. The September 1960s massacre of the Igbos was as a revenge for the killings of the January 15, 1966 coup. The, the then governor of the eastern region, Lieutenant Colonel Chuku Emeka Odumegu Ojuku, that is his full name, called all the Easterners in all parts of the country back home and expelled other Nigerians living in eastern Nigeria. Now, there was massacre of evil. And what is massacre? Killing of people in a very good number or a very large number or a big number. Mass killing of people, massacre of Igbos in northern Nigeria. So that happened in Kano. So Ojuku felt it and said no. To him, they must revenge. What did Ojuku did? He called all the Igbos to go back to southeast, to go back home. And he now expelled all any other tribe, non Igbos, back to their states. What does that mean? He had the intention of waging or of starting the war. They have their plans already to attack or to start the war. That is why Ojuku now expelled non Igbos from Igbo land and also called back all Igbos back to their land because he knows what he has in mind and he knows what he has been nursing for a long time between him and General Yakub Gawad, the then president of Nigeria. Now, immediate cause, cause, cause of Nigerian civil war. Immediate causes of Nigerian civil war. 
The intention of the eastern region to control the oil discover in that part of the country. The federal government resisted the cessation. The crude oil in Nigeria is, that is who to control it. The northern people, that is, or the federal government rather, and the Biafrans both put eyes on the crude oil. Because the crude oil is the main source of income in Nigeria. Then, the crude oil, cotton and granite, then. But there was a huge amount of money realized during Yakubu, Yakubu Gawan's regime. And the Ibos felt with, with them having the crude oil on their own part, to cessate or to break away from Nigeria will not be a problem today, and they have nothing to lose. And the gov federal government discovered if we allow them to break, up, uh, to break off out of Nigeria, it's going to cause a problem, and there's going to be a problem. Because the main source of income to Nigeria will now go to the new country that will be created, that is, you know, the Biafran country. Another major cause of the civil war was the personal, personality clash between Ojuku and Gawon. When General Ronsin was moved, removed, Lieutenant Colonel Gawon was not, who was not the most senior army officer, took over instead of Brigad Brigadier Ogundebe, the next in command to Ronsin. That, is, that also is a serious problem. When Ronsin was removed, Lieutenant Gawan wasn't the most senior AFI officer. The next person was Ogundebe. He is, that is Brigadier Ogundebe. He is the next in command to Iransin. He was the one that's supposed to take over. But Gawan was given, and Ojuku was not happy because Gawan was his cosmate, and they are of the same rank. So Ojuku felt, how can he respect Gawan? So what he did was, he refused to take order or command from Gawan. And that also make him to be more furious and completely against General Yakubu Gawan. And that also led to Nigerian civil war, one of the immediate reasons for Nigerian civil war. Also, the belief of Ojuku and Gawan that they can only reach to agreement through violence. Both of them, we are really men, and both of them, we are really soldiers, because they felt they refuse to agree with one another. The best thing is violence. That is, they should go into war. The division of country into 12 states by Gawan, the 12 states that we are created May 27, 1967, forced Ojuku to announce the cessation of the Eastern region on May 30, 1967, which led to the civil war that started on July 6, 1967. So, Ojuku wasn't happy with the 12 state created. He felt, he felt Gowan was not being fair to them. The state was concentrated only to the northern people. And they were left, you know, that is why he said no. That 12 state or the 12 state created, he didn't concur or agree with what Gowan did. And that also made him to announce, you know, the cessation. So 12 state, creation of 12 state by General, by General Kubugan was the main reason that forced Ojuku to cessate or to pronounce or to announce the cessation, that is the breaking away of the Biafrans from Nigeria. Finally, the divergent interpretation given to the meeting Ojuku and Gohan held at Abori, Ghana, with the then Ghanaian head of state, General Ankara. They went to Ghana and held a meeting to see whether they will agree they went for a reconciliation meeting. But on coming back home, Yavu Gawan refused. He refused, you know, to follow what they agreed. He said the best way they should go, the best thing to do, they should just go to war. And they just, before you know it, there was exchange of fire and the war started. We have come to the end of this lesson. But before I leave, I have this assignment for you. And the question says, explain the immediate and the remote causes of Nigerian civil war. Explain the immediate and the remote causes of Nigerian civil war. In case you have any question 
or you want more explanation, you can WhatsApp me or contact me, contact me through this number, 0802-354-7912. I repeat, 0802-354-7912. Stay safe and keep learning.